Which stock has been seeing some very interesting price action as of late? Let's talk about where I think this stock could be headed, an interesting article that I found, and some other information about this stock. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and make sure to watch to the very end of this video so you don't miss any of the analysis I'm about to give about this stock. But other than that, let's get right into this video. Alrighty guys, here we are with Context Logic Inc., otherwise known of course as ticker symbol W-I-S-H, otherwise known as WISH. Uh, currently sitting at $9.98 per share, up just about 0.40% on the day. Uh, and as you can see here, we did spike up heavily into the $10.60 range, but unfortunately those levels could just not hold and we saw a downtrend for the rest of the day. Now, uh, what this means and why this happened and everything, there's been a lot of speculation as far as a possible short squeeze that could be imminent. There's also a lot of speculation involved with some news and stuff that's recently come out with the stock, but overall, it's it's really built up on mostly retail sentiment right now and people just, the volume increasing on the stock and more people buying, which drives, of course, the price up. Uh, what I wanna read here though, and this is gonna be some good news if you are a Wish stock investor, and also too, I think this article gives uh, another side of the story, because if, I feel like here, whenever we read something about Wish, it's usually something negative. It's usually something that isn't very positive about this stock. Uh, and I think this article gives kind of a breath of fresh air uh, to the overall negative sentiment that I've seen a lot, especially coming out of these large news organization uh, you know, websites and places that release articles like this. So let's take a look. Context Logic, more than a meme stock, it's a diamond GARP pick for booming e-commerce. Summary, the global e-commerce market is expected to nearly double by 2024 from 4 trillion in 2020 to 6.5 trillion, growing at a, from a 16% to 22% of world retail per Statista, which is only big mobile first play and main US off price play, reaching out the value consistent, or cons wow, value conscious consumers with bargain products and differentiated shopping experience. The company is relatively cheap versus the industry maintains a fortified balance sheet, has strong revenue growth, and may turn free cash flow positive soon. So these are all extremely, extremely positive aspects to this stock. And I see a lot of people, especially online, complain uh, about the negative aspects of the stock, whether it's the you know the price overall taking kind of a dip after the large run-up that we've seen recently with it, uh, or the kind of weird expectations as far as earnings go or revenue growth. But again, as you can see here, e-commerce overall as an industry is only expected to grow. It is only expected to keep continuing to boom. And Wish fulfills a very unique swath of this industry that I think no other company has really been able to take advantage of. And I'm really looking forward to seeing Wish do more of that in the future, as well as continue to grow their overall operations and hopefully grow not only orders, but also uh, become, of course, eventually profitable, which is, you know, one of the largest, I, I would argue, one of the largest achievements that a company can do and one of the most important. Let's read a little bit more of this article here uh, and we go down just a bit about here. Context Logic is an e-commerce play targeting a specific growing retail consumer demographic, the value conscious consumer, which should grow re, uh, revenues at least in line with the rest of the industry, working out to about 25% per year. Growing revenues along with increasing margins by reducing S&M expenses should create significant free cash flow. Always, always, always awesome. We'd love to see a significant increase in free cash flow. Free cash flow is great because it means that the company is actually a great business model. Usually the business model that has a large free cash flow means that of course there's a lot of money flowing in and out of the business, which is currently underpriced on a P and S basis relative to the rest of the industry and maintains a strong balance sheet as well. The company's competitive advantage, short and long-term catalyst financial position make me very bullish on wish future over the upcoming years. And the rest of this article just kind of goes over some kind of 10K filings and a little bit more kind of detailed technical analysis stuff, which I would love to get into. But again, that would uh, make this video a lot longer than in my opinion it needs to be. So we're gonna kind of just skim over a little bit. I'll give you guys basically most of the rundown. For the most part, what everyone is looking for is the valuation, right? Wish is, for the most part, uh, very, very hyped up on this kind of short squeeze, retail trading uh, mindset. And a lot of people think of this as like the next big short squeeze. And of course, that is possible. Of course, that's not impossible by any extent of the word. Uh, but again, it's not as likely as it is with other stocks because the short interest is high on the stock, but it is not as I as other uh, you know big names in this industry or in the stock market in general. Um, that being said, that's not what actually, in my opinion, is the main point of Wish. I see Wish as a speculative growth 
play. And a lot of these stocks, in my opinion, are speculative growth plays. You know, uh, Wish I really like because the business model is great. There's continued revenue growth. There's constant cash flow going into the business. And I'm really looking forward to seeing too if Wish can continue to expand uh, in its overall market reach. Again, this is a kind of a drop shipping business model that has turned into something just drastically uh, more successful than, of course, its its predecessor uh, or its pre-existing model, you know, and I think that this will really change and shake up the industry as a whole. Now, uh, getting into the last part of the article here, it talks a little bit about the valuation uh, and just some of the balance sheet stuff, ongoing activities. It, get, it breaks into a lot of different numbers, and I would love, of course, to again to break into these numbers. But again, we would be here all day if I did that. Uh, this article is, of course, available online. But overall, just to sum this entire article up, just so that way uh, we have a clear and concise understanding, uh, the write of this article is extremely, extremely bullish. And as you can see here on the bottom line, which is a solid GAR pick, cheaply priced relative to the rest of the fast growing e-commerce industry. The company is globally scaling quickly in both merchant and consumers with a strong marketing department to promote the brand name. Competition in e-commerce may be fierce, but Wish differentiates itself as the treasure hunt experience, compete and addictive scrolling and extreme bargains. The downside at the current price point is limited and as the company continues substantial revenue and margin growth, Context Logic can drive to new highs. I completely agree with the take there on Context Logic and I think it is a very accurate one and it's one that I share the same kind of beliefs and feelings about. Now, as you can see here, this is not actually what we're looking for. This is closed. Let's go to Wish. There's Wish. Okay, here's the intraday trading session on Wish. Huge run up here to the $10.68 level. Amazing, amazing run up here. Just awesome. Love to see this. Uh, unfortunately, could not hold these levels though and pulled back significantly down to about the $9.97 level. And unfortunately, we did end up in at least after hours ending lower uh, than we did starting the day, which is a little bit unfortunate there. But again, this is a one day trading chart. So let's pull out a little bit here to get some more kind of, uh, you know, perspective on things. 180 day here, we saw the high of $32.85, huge run up back here when kind of some of the interesting stuff was happening with AMC and other big names uh, associated, of course, with meme stocks. Here we saw another huge run up, $7.52 here uh, was the low jumping up to about $16. And then again, could not hold those levels, unfortunately. And we saw a significant pullback. And now we've been kind of consolidating pretty much, kind of stagnant. I had a little bit of run up here, kind of more down here, a little bit of run up here. But again, uh, mostly just consolidation right now. RSI though, heavily oversold right now at the 53 level. Uh, as far as swing trades go, I don't like to buy when the RSI is above the 50 to even the 40 level. I stay away from, I like to buy down here when I'm making swing trades because I know that I am getting hopefully, or at least I should be getting a good value as long as the technicals of course hold. MACD is really just too close to call. The blue line is above the brown line slightly, but again, it's nothing major like we've seen in the past where we have these confirmed breakouts by of course the MACD. But Overall, guys, this is pretty much it for Wish Stock, and make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. I hope I've earned you a thumbs up today. Please like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video like this. If you guys want two free stocks with Weeble, check out our link in the description below. And if you guys want to join our private Discord, you guys can check out our Patreon link as well. But other than that, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm Kyle of Finance, bro. Take it easy.